Hello everyone. In the previous video, we completed the exercise, the integration flow for the exercise that we talked about. In this session, what we will do is we will look at best practices and also security for both the outbound and the inbound adapters. Uh, so as far as the outbound adapter is concerned, uh, we can have uh, SSL communication uh, between the iFlow and the receiver system. Uh, in order to do that, uh, what you can do is you can go into the integration suite, uh, you can go into monitor integrations, and then uh, let's say you're going to make a call to Twitter. Uh, so what you can do is uh, go to twitter.com and you can uh, say send, and this will allow you to download the certificate for your receiver system. In this case, uh, this is going to be the Twitter system. Uh, so I can download, and this is going to download the certificates in a zip file. And once you have the certificates, uh, what you can also do is go into monitor integrations and add those uh, certificates to your key store. And this allows you to uh, go ahead and establish uh, SSL communication between your uh, uh, between your in, uh, um, in SAP the integration suite and your receiver system. Uh, and also, as far as the outbound uh, security is concerned, uh, what you can also do is, as far as that authentication and authorization is concerned, uh, these are the uh, mechanisms available. Uh, so you can use the OAuth2 client credentials or OAuth2 SAML bearer assertion for your uh, authentication and authorization. Now, as far as inbound is concerned, uh, as far as the uh, inbound adapter security is concerned, uh, you have uh, the inbound uh, uh, request comes through the load balancer automatically. And what you can also do is for authentication, uh, you can have this role collection. So, uh, you, this is the role. You can assign this role to any role collection and then assign it to your user. Uh, and this is one way of doing it. Uh, in this uh, method, your authentication thing against the remote endpoint. And uh, while this is uh, uh, definitely possible for development purpose, it is not recommended for production use. Uh, for production use, uh, we want to set up something like an authentication OAuth client on your own tenant. Uh, for this, you need to set up the process integration runtime instance. Uh, and this is something in your SAP BTP that you will set it up as a uh, as an inst as a service instance. And then you can have uh, uh, the authorization code or client credentials, any of these uh, grant types uh, that you can have. Um, and now, uh, what you can also do as far as best practices is concerned uh, is you can go into Discover and then you can go into Integrations right here. And then you can, this is where you have all the predefined integrations from SAP. And SAP also has like uh, best practices as well. Uh, so you can search for examples and you can see that there is an integration flow design guidelines, uh, enterprise integration patterns. So if you click on it, uh, you will see that it has uh, quite a number of artifacts. So if you click on the artifacts, it has quite a number of iFlows uh, here. And you can copy this. So when you copy this, uh, what it's going to do is it's going to make a copy of this in your design integration. So you will have a copy of this in your design integrations. So I have a copy of it made here. Uh, so this is my integration flow design guidelines. Now what you can do is, so it's just made a copy. It has not deployed anything to your sub account yet. Uh, so you can go into your artifacts and then you can look at all the iFlows and then you can um, then you can deploy whatever you want. Uh, so in our case, let's say uh, you need to deploy this uh, generic receiver uh, because this is used by all of the iFlows. Uh, so go ahead and deploy this. So go into actions and say deploy and this will go ahead and deploy this uh, uh, iFlow to your sub account. And then let's say you want to do uh, some CSV to XML or something. Uh, then you can go ahead and uh, deploy this as well. Uh, so go ahead and deploy this as well and then if uh, if you want to do something with JMS uh, go ahead and deploy this as well uh, so you can deploy all of these things and you can also look at these things for like the best way to do it like uh, these are guidelines uh, that tells you like uh, the best practices and so on uh, so here in this uh, you have the sender adapter which is the HTTPS so which means it's uh, an in out it's a request reply kind of a, a message um, adapter uh, but what it's going to do is it's going to have uh, some kind of uh, uh, 
uh, some kind of a asynchronous processing. So here in this uh, JMS, uh, so even though this is a, a request reply, uh, so but processing is uh, happening asynchronously, uh, but you do get some response back from this iFlow. So it kind of uh, shows you the best ways to do it. And the, one of the cool thing as well here is uh, in this, uh, when you copy this package, uh, you see in the documents, uh, you have uh, three artifacts right here. And uh, it has like a how to work with all the iFlows. Uh, and one of the cool things is it has a Postman collection as well. So you can download this Postman collection. And once you download the Postman collection, uh, you can bring that into your Postman. So in your Postman, uh, I have actually brought this uh, uh, collection into my Postman. So here you see in my modeling basics, I have uh, uh, imported the uh, the uh, Postman collection into my Postman here. And now what I can do is I can test it out as well. So I can go into my CSV to XML converter because I've already deployed that package. I can run it. I can see how it is behaving. And then I can go ahead and make modifications. And if I have to do the same thing in my, uh, in my scenario, then I can kind of follow the same best practices. And same thing with this uh, JMS package that we deployed. Uh, we can look at the, the, uh, the body here, uh, and, uh, and then we can go ahead and uh, send it. And you can see that it says you get a response back, uh, but you see that it's also doing some asynchronous processing. Uh, so the pattern is in out. Uh, that's why we got the message back. Uh, but there is also some messaging that is happening behind the scenes as well. Okay, so that brings us to the conclusion of the SAP integration suite, uh, the free learning journey. Um, hopefully, uh, you can take the certification. Uh, good luck in your certification. Thank you very much. Bye.